Hi, I'm Jim Shepard. Uh, another talk topic on financial planning. This is one I think that's near and dear to all of our hearts. It's how we get paid. Um, one of the things that's interesting is there's really three structures that relate to compensation. I've been under all three in my long 28, 29 year career. So I think I'm qualified, uniquely qualified to kind of address all three. I did want to start out by saying that no one can really say that one type of compensation is more ethical or moral than the other. I think it all relates in how you deliver your services and how you deal with your clients. However, they each do have their nuances that you do need to be aware of. And there's a lot of times that people don't understand that there are things that they don't have to have, such as securities, license, et cetera. The three basic ways of receiving compensation if you're providing investment management services as part of financial planning is commission. You can be fee-based, which is commission and fees, or you can be fee only. Again, I think I'm uniquely qualified because over my long career, I have done all three. We're currently a fee only firm. If you're commission based, that means that you're under the auspices of FINRA. You have a Series 65 license and a Series 7 license, which enables you to receive brokerage commissions. Um, the only thing you have to be aware of there is that the environment that you're in can dictate what you can and can't do. And sometimes that environment can be a little confiscatory as to allow you the broad range of things that you may want to do or not do, as well as the companies that you're licensed with have requirements that you adhere to, such as production requirements possibly, and that can also be an influence as how those services are delivered. But again, nothing wrong with that. It's, it's just that commission structure is a perfectly appropriate for the right situation, but that's, oh, those are just some of the nuances you want to be aware of. Typically, a lot of people will have a commission license and a fee license and charge fees as well. They may charge fees for financial planning and then also charge uh, commissions for any services that they provide. That's a fee-based approach. Under that, you're really geared towards the Securities and Exchange Commission as well as being under FINRA. So you've got two regulatory organizations there that are looking over your shoulder. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission obviously is going to come in and do regular audits and FINRA is the same as being licensed as a broker. The third is fee only. Uh, I started commission, went to fee only. Fee only is, in a, is an environment where you're licensed uh, for any investment management services under the Securities and Exchange Commission. So that's the person who is regulating you. You do not have a FINRA license. You do not have a Series 6 or Series 7 license. You only have an investment advisor license, which is a Series 65. Many people don't realize that you can provide ongoing fee-only services, trade, provide investment management services on an ongoing basis and only be licensed as a, under the Securities and Exchange Commission. So that really gets you from under the FINRA regulations. Now all that's up for debate now as part of the new regulations that are out there. We like the uh, fee-only standpoint because one of the things that we do would uh, hold ourselves out to our clients is that we are acting in a fiduciary capacity and it allows us the environment, not that one's right or one's wrong, it just allows us to have an environment that allows us to always not have to be constrained by our brokerage firm requirements or anything else. We can just set our fees and then act accordingly. Again, all three commission structures, no one could ever tell you that one is more ethical than the other. As a CPA, I do feel that we really employ the fee only option. Uh, we like that option, but again, all three are viable options. You should be aware though of what the constraints are in each of those structures.